Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a study with me because I haven't filmed one of these in quite a few months and how I've been studying lately has changed quite a bit from the last time I shared with you guys. Just because every single class you take in physical therapy school is a little bit different so I found that I kind of have to adjust and adapt my study habits a little bit for every class. So Tomorrow I have a musculoskeletal exam over the hip and the knee, so I'm going to be studying and showing you guys what I've been doing lately, as well as doing kind of a little bit of a desk tour here. Pretty sure every single physical therapy school has a musculoskeletal class, but how my school splits it up is into two semesters, so this semester we are doing the lower extremity, and next semester we will be doing the upper extremity, so my exam tomorrow is over the hip and the knee and basically going through and learning how to do an exam for that body part. So we do have some competencies, which we had one last week, and then learning how to kind of differentially diagnose different conditions for that body part. So that's kind of the written exam component that I'm taking tomorrow. And if you watch my vlogs, I've mentioned this, but for this class, we're not allowed to have any electronics to take our notes. So I've had to transition to writing handwritten notes, but Honestly, it's kind of been a blessing in disguise and it saved me a ton of time because I don't have to go back in and type up study guides. So I'm going to stop talking and start studying so I can show y'all what I've been doing lately. Oh, probably should have mentioned this. If you're new here on my channel, this is your first video that you're watching. Hi, welcome. I'm a second year doctor of physical therapy student at Mercer University in Atlanta, Georgia. And I have a bachelor's in exercise science from UGA. Go dogs! Number one football team in the country right now. Um, yeah, that's just a little bit about me. You should subscribe down below if you're new because I post new videos every single Saturday about PT. So, would love to have you here on my channel. Let's get studying and I'll show y'all what I've been doing lately. So, this is what my desk look like. looks like. I absolutely love it and this is where I study for all of my exams because I do have a dog, so I don't like to leave him anywhere that I have to. I'm already gone all the time at class. So I've really created a nice space here so I can study and get work done at home. This desk itself is from Target, and I absolutely love it. And I have my binder out here, also from Target, which I've been taking notes in, handwritten, like I said before. And I really like this desk because it has this little charging port right in here which is super convenient. And then on my desk, I don't have much because I like to have as much room as possible to study, but I do have a candle because I love to light candles while I'm studying. I have this little sign that my grandma got me. And this collage wall, I just found pictures on Pinterest and printed it out and taped them to my wall, very simple. I have this lamp from Ikea. And then I have over here, just this little coffee warmer thing because I drink coffee a lot while I'm studying, obviously. These little cubes, which honestly just have like trash in them, like a bunch of old gift cards, some miscellaneous Sharpies, and a bunch of buttons from college game days. And then I have my AirPods here. I have a Braves bobblehead, which when I'm filming this, the Braves literally won the World Series last night, so go Braves! And then I have this webcam here that I plug in and put on Teddy when I leave him. This little white hanging thing I absolutely love. I got it from Target a few months ago, but I'm pretty sure they still have it in stock. And in here I just keep a to-do list notebook, tape, stapler, post-its, index cards, little tab things to mark textbook pages with, a bunch of colorful pens. I absolutely love these pens. And then I have... My calendar here, which I fill out every month, just like the important school dates and if I have anything fun on the weekends here. And then I always turn on my string lights as well to create just kind of a nice little ambiance in here. And over here I have my TV and lately I've been into putting kind of like peaceful settings on the TV while I study. So I've been using this one. Um, Halloween's over now, but it is like a Halloween themed fireplace type thing and just like the crackling of the fire kind of helps me focus. Put my candle, put my glasses on, and I have my notes out so I'm going to open them up and show y'all what I've been doing. Again, I film a lot of week on my lives here on my channel so I've showed my notes a little bit in some of those vlogs, um, kind of showing y'all what I've been doing lately, but since this exam is over the hip and the knee, 
I kind of split it up. So Monday, Tuesday this week, I really focused on the hip. Today, Wednesday, has been mostly on the knee. So I'm going to flip my camera around. All right, so really quickly, I always print the slides out before class. And then during class, I just take out my pen and my highlighters and kind of fill it out like this. So when I'm studying, I've still been doing my Pomodoro method, which I've done in all my vlogs in the past and all my past semesters as well, which is 25 minutes of working with a five minute rest break. And I've just been kind of flipping through all of these slides, learning studying really just trying to understand because it is just kind of about like how to go through like the whole exam if that makes sense it's not a whole lot of memorization and a big part of this class is pathology and basically how my class works is the teacher will talk about some of the pathologies in class but a large majority of them are like projects that we were assigned like a pathology and we had to type up a whole long like summary about and post to our school's canvas and for example, for this test, there's about like 25 different pathologies that students have written projects on. And if I were to print every single one of those and try to study every single one of those, it literally is just so much information and like hundreds of pages. So instead, I compiled that into a separate little table, which I'm going to show. This is the separate table that I made. So kind of instead of doing study guides, this is what I've been doing lately, just kind of making a chart, putting the diagnosis. For example, here we have a hamstring strain. Very generally, what is a hamstring strain? Some ag and easing factors and some common presentation signs and symptoms because these exams primarily are case-based. Just knowing like a quick little like what distinguishes one thing from another is really helpful. So I just went through and did that and highlighted that and annotated that just how I used to do with my study guides that I've talked about in past videos but just instead doing it in table form. And I also will write myself little notes, like for example, SLJ is something that we lectured on in class. So I just wrote that the difference, main difference between OSD and SLJ is, SLJ is the apophysitis at the inferior pole of patella, and OSD is apophysitis at the tibial tuberosity. So just quick little things like that, and I definitely put a G here instead of a J. So sorry, everyone. But yeah, basically just trying to make it like as simple as possible and just thinking this is going to be a test question presented as a case. How can I like differentiate between certain things rather than trying to memorize every single little thing? So we're going to be starting here now on the knee. For example, this one's on patellar tendonitis. So I'm going to go through my slides and study these slides. And once I get to the slide that says see clinical pattern, which is the student projects. I'm going to go over here and see my little study guide. So I'm going to set my Pomodoro timer and start studying now. So it's about an hour later and I've gone through all my slides, so now I'm going to look at some quizlets that people in my class made just to kind of quiz myself and look at flashcards. Quizlets don't help me if I make them myself, but I like to use them kind of at the end of my studying as a way to quiz myself, if that makes sense, so I'm going to do that now. So I'm at a place where I'm feeling pretty good about the knee overall, so I'm going to take a little break now and eat something because I am getting hungry. And then I'm going to start from the top and start going over the hip sides again because I haven't looked at those yet today. And just go from the top, look over every single class note and slide that I have because the professor probably has those PowerPoints out while he is making the exam. So my go-to is always just go back to the slides and make sure I know what is on the slides. So I'm going to take a little break and then get started studying from the top again. I probably have about two or three hours left of studying tonight, so I don't know how much I'm going to update y'all, but 
pretty much just 25 minutes on and off going through my slides as well as the little study guide that I made myself so I will talk to you guys later tonight. Hey guys, so it's quite a bit later and I am done studying for the night so I'm about to shower and make some dinner and head to sleep. I wanted to tell you guys, so my exam is tomorrow and it's not till 1 o'clock so typically the day of an exam I'll wake up like 20 or 30 minutes earlier that morning just so I can flip through my study guide again so everything is just fresh in my mind right before I take the test and I'm the type of person that I wish every single test was at 8 a.m. because I just want to wake up and take it and get it over with but unfortunately this exam isn't until 1.15 tomorrow so during lunch I also can flip through my study guide again one last time so that's just kind of what I do so yeah I hope this is helpful to you guys in any way at all and if you have any questions, of course, you can leave them in the comments down below. And I will get to them because I try to respond to every single one of your comments. And a thank you guys for all of your love and support on my recent videos. It means the world to me. And I wish you all the best of luck in your pre-PT, PT journeys. Also, if you're going to CSM in Texas in February, comment down below or message me on Instagram because I just got my ticket and I would love to meet some of you guys. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye friends!